Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that here's how a speaker box makes a speaker louder. That's right. What you see here is a speaker box and it actually amplifies the sound of a speaker. Okay, it makes the speaker louder. I'm gonna sort of tell you how it works and then I'll show you an example with my hands and my mouth that will really make it crystal clear. And I'm gonna keep this video really short and sweet, so just bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna pull off the grill of the speaker so you can see sort of what I'm talking about with a little bit more clarity, okay? So I've removed the grill and as you can see, this this is an example of what was a center uh, center speaker for my parents' home theater system like many, many years ago. It has been disconnected for so many years. Um, I just kept it uh, for some, you know, for videos and stuff like that, for tutorials. So I don't even know if it works anymore, to be honest with you. It probably does. But anyways, that's besides the point. So as you can see here, this is how the speakers themselves work, okay? They essentially uh, get an audio signal and they, they make sound using sort of like a vibration. That's why if you see a subwoofer, a really powerful subwoofer, you'll see it going like boom, like like that right so they use a vibration they vibrate essentially waves of sound so you imagine they send off waves of sound okay now waves are interesting because they bounce off things so if a wave bounces it sort of gets more volume um, for you know no pun intended but it gets like a sort of it, it bounces and it's able to continue and sort of be a little bit louder okay so you can imagine right here if there's nothing but the speakers themselves they're gonna send the audio waves they're gonna send the sound waves and the waves are just gonna bounce off the walls in the room but those walls might be really far away so they're not gonna get much of a bounce however if there's a box around the speakers, those waves, in addition to being sent out, those waves are bouncing in the box, which is gonna amplify them and not only make them louder, but it's gonna make the sound more full, okay? And I'll give you an example right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera over here, okay, just carefully, because my camera's being a little bit finicky. I'm gonna move it up like this so you can see my face. And essentially, this is what I'm talking about. So li listen to what's happening here. Listen to my voice, okay? E now you can hear it didn't really get much louder. It got a little bit louder, but it sounds louder. If you measure it with like a, like a, a volume meter, like a decibel meter, you know, it probably wouldn't be that much louder, but it sounds louder. So listen. E now, if I seal it completely, Listen, to, I, I'm going to seal it completely and then I'm going to open up a little hole and ideally what sounds best is when it's sealed mostly with a little hole for the sound waves to escape. So listen to this. It sounds best when it's sealed with a little hole, okay? That's how a speaker box makes a speaker louder. It's that simple. It sort of bounces the sound waves off, off the box itself and it sounds louder because it's more voluminous. Um, and that's essentially it. I just wanted to, you know, I just give you my knowledge. I've learned this over the years and it's really cool. And yeah, anyways, it also, it, it might help you amplify your sound for your speaker, depending on what you want to do. But that's essentially it. Hopefully you like this video, simple explanation about speaker boxes. If you like this video explanation, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more good videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.